Bill, this famous scientist, has wowed us for years with his cool discoveries and by figuring out old mysteries. He's gotten us all excited about space. Now, Bill's talking about the newest stuff from the James Webb Space Telescope, which is letting us see the cosmos as it was over 13 billion years back. This is changing how we get the universe and life itself. The telescope is doing great stuff looking at planets, galaxies far away, and more. It's a huge step up for science and does even better than the Hubble Space Telescope. So, what makes these Webb Telescope pictures so amazing that they have some experts rethinking stuff? And what's Bill think about them? It took NASA engineers and scientists years to build this incredible space thing, and they finally launched it on Christmas Day in 2021. Everything went smoothly as the telescope got set up over the next few months. By the end of June 2022, astronomers started finding tons of new galaxies that were older and further away than what we knew. Some might have formed 150 million years before the oldest galaxy Hubble found. Also, the Webb Telescope can grab enough light from far-off things like planets and stars so scientists can study what they're made of and where they're going. Bill says the info they've already got is showing crazy details about the air around planets light years away. This might give clues about if they can grow life as we see it. What did the Webb Telescope snap? One of Hubble's most iconic shots is the Pillars of Creation and the Eagle Nebula. Hubble could see the structure, but not stuff going on inside. But the Webb Telescope got it in infrared light. This showed tiny red dots, protostars, all over the place within gas and dust. Each of these stars is bigger than our solar system and currently forming. Bill says the stars in these pics haven't started fusing hydrogen yet. As stuff comes together in their centers, things get hot and pressurized, which starts hydrogen fusion, which causes the stars to shine really bright. The colors in the web image represent infrared wavelengths, which we can't see. The blue is what we see, and the other colors are the red radiation from these protostars. According to Bill, this image isn't just about the Webb Telescope's infrared skills. It's also a cool glance at how stars like our sun are made. Exoplanets, planets outside our solar system, got discovered in the 90s. Now, we know about more than 3,000 exoplanets going around far stars but we've only directly seen around a thousand. Planets far away are hard to see, but you can watch for when a star dims because a planet passes in front of it. And last September, they got the first direct shot of an exoplanet, HIP 65426b, was discovered in 2017. They used coronagraphs and special cameras to block the light from the star. This planet is super big, almost 12 times the size of Jupiter, and far from its star, about 100 times the distance between Earth and the Sun. The ghost galaxy is hard to see, but infrared cameras show it as a spiral with stars coming out of it. A new image shows blue dust and gas coming out in patterns. Combining Hubble and Webb images of star formation regions lets us see it better. Astronomers put together the optical and infrared shots of the galaxy as part of the PHS project. Hubble, Webb, and ground telescopes are used to study 19 galaxies using infrared. Scientists can see star formations in galaxies, clock the mass and age of star clusters, and check out tiny dust bits zooming through space using Webb's details. The telescope also got a shot of a far star, Wolf Ray 140. It showed a pattern in visible light, with crazy rings. These rings are from massive wolf ray stars near the end of their life. The rings show what happens when WR140 has something to do with another star, making hydrogen shapes. With its initial design to examine the most distant galaxies in the galaxies, the Webb Telescope has made so many discoveries. In December 2022, astronomers said they saw four of the oldest galaxies we've ever seen. They're from 13.4 billion years ago, when the whole world was just 350 million years old. The Webb Telescope is also looking closely at exoplanets. One is WASP-39b, 700 light-years away. This gas giant, which has the size of Saturn, orbits its star super close, even more than Mercury to our Sun. The planet's air has sulfur and silicates. With two of Webb's tools, scientists found carbon dioxide in the planet's atmosphere. The Webb Telescope has changed our universe, rewriting books about space growth. 
snapshots of old distant stars, planets, and galaxies gave new details we couldn't get before. Could this change how we know space? The telescope sees far corners where the light has zoomed for ages. It's giving Earth a peek at how the universe was made. Looking at distant galaxies has been the goal of space science and Webb's fancy tech has brought space research far. The pictures from Webb show galaxies that were around a few hundred million years after the Big Bang. With this, scientists will be able to study these galaxies' formations and how stuff grew during the early age. Meanwhile, the Webb has been busy looking at exoplanets which has gotten some extraordinary data. They have been able to take pictures of planets and check out their atmospheres deeply. Spotting materials like carbon dioxide tell about chances of life on those planets, as it is key to searching for livable planets. The Webb telescope is changing our understanding of stars as well. While checking out the pillars of creation in the Eagle Nebula, Webb catches stellar births. These are excellent details for people who study how stars affect the formation of planets and galaxies. On top of checking out galaxies and stars, with Webb seeing details that no other telescope can. The infrared lets us see the earliest forms growing inside dust walls. As a result, we can also note the hidden stages that most could not reach. According to Bill Nye, future space journeys the James Webb Space Telescope is full of the best work humans can do over many years. It helps understand how galaxies grow, how stars die, and if life is out there. With that information, we are going to get to know our place in the cosmos. The telescope has barely scratched the surface. Scientists are very eager to keep unlocking secrets. They say the potential of this telescope are limitless. Webb will keep space exploration moving forward. The influence on our perception of space are going to be felt for a long while. With many discoveries, we are going to have a ton of details about the universe and how important we are within it. Webb has helped out the study of galaxy formation. With Webb and its advanced skills, we are able to have a better understanding of the distribution of the universe. It will help get into the origins and the creation of the Big Bang Theory. Another crucial aspect of Webb's mission is the exoplanets and their atmospheres with passing lights. It is able to see the gases, such as water, methane, carbon dioxide, and oxygen. This gives a hint on the likelihood that these planets could harbor life which in turn could tell us where the humans could go next. The ghost galaxy is faint, but with infrared cameras, we can see its spiral shape and the stars shining from its center. Webb's recent image of this galaxy shows cool patterns of heat from dust and gas stretching out in a bright, electric blue. This image gives us a new view of the star-making areas scattered around the galaxy's spiral arms, putting together images from both Hubble and Webb. Astronomers have made a combined image that shows different optical and infrared views of the galaxy as part of a project called the PHS Initiative. This is a global team using Hubble, Webb, and telescopes on the ground to study 19 nearby galaxies using infrared observations. By putting Webb's detailed views of longer wavelengths to work, scientists can find star-forming regions in galaxies, figure out the mass and age of star clusters, and check out the tiny dust particles zooming through space. In another neat observation, Webb took a picture of a distant star called Wolf Ray 140. This star showed a pattern in visible light, but it also had strange rings. These rings are a deal with massive Wolf Ray stars, which are in their final stages. These rings happen because of how WR140 interacts with another star, creating weird shapes from hydrogen emission. Webb's built to study the most far-off galaxies, and it has come up with some major hauls. In December 2022, astronomers announced they found four of the oldest galaxies ever seen, dating back 13.4 billion years, when the universe was only 350 million years old, about 2% of its current age. We thought these galaxies were too far to see, but Webb's powerful gear saw them. They figured out the age of these galaxies by checking their red shift, how the expansion of the universe stretches light waves. The biggest red shift on record was 13.2, giving us a look at the early universe. Webb can do more than just look into deep space. It has also checked out exoplanets in detail. As an example, it watched a planet called WASP-39b, which is 700 light-years away in the constellation Virgo. 
This gas giant, about the size of Saturn, orbits its star eight times closer than Mercury is to our sun. Its atmosphere is full of sulfur and silicate clouds, even sulfur dioxide. Using two of Webb's spectrographs, scientists found carbon dioxide in this planet's atmosphere. Webb's contribution to what we know about the universe is huge, and it is changing the textbooks on how the cosmos came to be. By getting both the earliest and most detailed images of stars, galaxies, and planets, it brought out a level of clarity and detail that we could not get before. Could all of this change our thoughts on space? The telescope can see into the furthest parts of the universe, where the light has traveled for billions of years, giving us a look into the early years of the universe. Looking into galaxies far out has been an attraction of space science. Webb's technology has pushed this research to a different dimension. The images that Webb got had galaxies in them that had been around a few million after the Big Bang. This achievement helps scientists find out how these galaxies formed and what they look like from a period from the very early stages of the universe. In the meantime, Webb's research in other planets gives some results. Not only does it capture those planets, but it helps find their atmosphere and the chemicals that make them. Having the ability to find and evaluate types molecule gives clues on the potential habitability of distant planets. The James Webb Telescope changes our understanding about how stars are formed. Webb captured stellar birth on the nebula, which has helped scientists see how the process of stars being born through gas and dust are formed. This also provides deep insight on how stars form and grow over time. Scientists can get a better understanding the lifestyle of stars and how they can influence planets and galaxies. In addition to the steady galaxies, it does give details on how stars forming and developing. The infrared can capture details that are not captured from other stars. Bill Nye says the James Webb Telescope is a representation of human evolution and creativity since it answered the questions from the Earth and Universe. With every new discovery, Webb gets us closer to what we have to look in the cosmos. The potential for this telescope is limited and we can expect a lot from that. How the telescopes can change us and change what in theories we had that was it and change the views that we have in the society. It will be the point and impact on the galaxy structure and galaxy formation. Another critical aspect of Webb is the atmosphere of the exoplanets. Webb can go through and analyze different things and lights and gases such as vapor from water and carbon dioxide which are the keys to having a potential livable worlds. With a little bit of observation and studies we can find out other planets that support life and explore them. In short, the James Webb Space Telescopes has changed the what we know so far. It goes from expanding our knowledge to the history of stars. It can find possibility for life beyond and other planets. This remarkable instrument that shows innovative of human and the passion to see past our own Earth.